On this rough September morning, Jack and Nick were in search of Albies. He's trying to run it into the reef, too. Still might be a bass when he keeps digging. You'll know when he comes by. That tail's like a rocket. Bluefish. Yeah, it dragged in sound right from the get-go. No. If that was an Albie, uh, it's ear piercing. Yeah, may run. Where there's that stuff going on. Yeah, where there's, where there's blues, there's going to be other bass fish, especially in that current. Soon, another hookup. So I'm not hearing what I'm waiting for. I'll make a fish. That. He's running back and forth. Finally, an Albie. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. Oh, good. He hasn't woken up yet. Something just broke right off the bow. Here. There it there goes. It goes. <laughs> you got that drag tight, son. <laughs> He's a little green at the moment. But that well, fish still hasn't made a good run yet. Really. No. He's got a really stiff drag there, too. Well, I keep cupping him a little bit just to keep him uh, somewhat tight. If I, I let him fly, he's just going to reach. What's on test you got? You got braid on that thing? I got braid, yeah. Oh, yeah. Braid with a floral tip. It's, it's a different game. If, if I hook up on this rod, I use 10 pound test, so. so. like right now, I'm putting some wood to him. The problem with them is you can straighten hooks and break their mouth. Yep. Yep. I don't like it. Not too often you get to see a rod go 90, though. Yeah. You got a lot of bends, but not 90 like that. It's amazing they're only eight pound fish. Yeah, I know. When he, he saw like, the boat, he was they're, gone. They're just like tuna, they're, they're the same thing. I mean, they see the boat, they give you that quick, you get like a whoop, 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 whoop. They do that with their tail and then they blaze away. And right now that's doing what they call the tuna death circle down there where it's, it's just using his body and his fins and he's just doing a big circle. He's not letting Nick pull him up. He's right there. <laughs> There you go. Beautiful fish. Yep. All this stuff tucks right back into their body so they can cruise for speed. All muscle. Time to send him home. You gotta give him a nice big rush of oxygen when you first get him back in. So straight in and God. Good job, brother. A lot of times you hook him and you think you lost your fish and it's them cruising at you at 30 miles an hour, I know. Yeah, he didn't stop pulling until he saw the boat and then he was wanted nothing to do with it. Bonita and false albacore are similar, but distinct species. Bonita don't have color that the albies have. They have more of a green than a blue. And the Bonita don't have spots. The false albacore have three to eight spots and a half moon shape under the pectoral fin. Bonita have stripes that'll go all the way down past the color on their back too. With a false albacore, the markings end right where the color ends. Also, Benito's dorsal fin is uninterrupted all the way to the back fin. The false albacore it stops and then the fin comes up again. Benito has huge teeth. Huge. Yeah, they are. They're coming up again like over here. Like a king mackerel. Yeah, they almost look like a mini wahoo or a, a king mackerel. You just pop into that group right there, Nick, with your yeah. eyes open. If they do that again, I'll get you on them. Yeah, see yeah, it? I knew it. Right there, right off the side. To a certain extent, you gotta read the water. The birds will get you in the direction you wanna be in, and then you gotta watch the water. If you see a falsie come up, he's already 30 feet away from that area, and you got to guess the direction, you know? So hopefully you got to see the back come out, or a, little, a chest greyhound, and then you can kind of gauge which way they're heading. You definitely got to lead them. Where they come up, it's already too late. Unless they're a huge school, and then you can try and get in the middle of them from there. And they oh, were popping. The oh, right next to the boat. Full, full body breach. They do that a lot, too. They like to wink at you. That's good up there on the bow. They're breaking. Also on the westerly reefs, big breakers out in front. Where the hell are we, Alaska? Thanks for the nice calm boat ride there, Jack. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I thought you said hardcore albacore. They're, they're grouping up pretty good down here to the south. And Nick gets into the group. That's them. That's what you're looking for on the drag. <laughs> Let him do what he's gonna do. He's if gonna you try to force those fish, even though they're only eight or nine or ten pounds. They'll end up uh, breaking you off, or they break their mouth, or you get what used to look like a treble hook looks like a fork. Yep. The little fish, they got so much power. They'll straighten. I don't think anything pound for pound, but nah, not pound for pound. If these things could get like 500 pounds, it'd be scary. <laughs> They give bluefin a run for their money. Oh, easily. They're a little more active. See, there you go. Wow, he's flashing. That might be a greenie. Dead lift him here. See if we can't break his spear a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, he 
he ain't done yet. So much for breaking his spirit. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna break mine first, probably. Because my flyby. Or not. <laughs> Finally in the boat. Look at that nice. blue, huh? You see, the Albies have these spots here underneath the side in the half moon shape. The Bonita don't have that, and the Albies stripe patterns stop here at the end of the color. The Bonita stripes will keep coming down. The Bonita have a much more pointy face full of teeth. These guys don't have much of teeth at all, you know? But I don't want to keep him out of the water anymore, so I'm going to get him back in. Nick rubbing it in that he had all the hookups. Yeah, he can't catch all the fish on his boat and make them look bad. You'll have to edit that out later. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lead. <laughs> uh, he's one of the best chatter guys I know around. He, uh, you know, he does, does the stuff I like to do. Light fit, light tackle, fast, efficient. You know, put in anywhere and uh, just won't catch anything. Including shark at the annual Martha's Vineyards Monster Shark Tournament. Yeah, the day one of that tournament was the scariest day of my life. I think six of us left the harbor and four of us made it back in one piece. 34 foot lures broke apart and sank and I believe a cabo had its front windshield smashed right out. We weighed in a fish the second day. The first day we got a little mako. Didn't bother weighing it. Big enough to keep but not big enough to place. And then, uh, the second day we made the board but we didn't make any of the top spots. We got a 14 foot thresher. Just a hair under 250. No, we ended up catching a total of 36 sharks the second day. Two threshers, two makos, and a lot of bluegills. Came right to the back of the boat the second day. We were hand feeding them right off the, the swim platform. But on this day, Albie's the goal. Yeah, I'm giving it, sometimes I'm giving it the two count before I even start reeling, and then it's a medium retrieve. There he is. That was right on top of you, guys. You see that? Yep. Right on top. That's what we're looking for. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Never gets old. Those birds were working real hard right there, and that's how I got the last one. So I figured, eh, while we're here, might as well throw a cast over there. It's been fishy all morning, so figured why not. Sure enough, halfway back on the retrieve, he smashed it. Or when fishing the Ocean State returns.